It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the LBS Advent Calendar, day 23. That's correct. So many days, I, I get them mixed up. What's on day 23, Sarah? It's a New Riff Single Barrel. New Riff Single Barrel. That's right. Yeah, so we had New Riff Bottled and Bond and that back was on day 15. 15. So it's been, been almost 10 days. Now we have a single barrel, which mm -hmm. is 113.9 proof. Ooh, yes. very excited. Yes. So as you heard us talk about New Riff on the other one, um, they're up in Northern Kentucky, uh, and they just started putting out this product. Before that, they were releasing OKI, which was sourced, but delicious, very well liked, mm -hmm. um, which we were very excited to see them do it the right way, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Let it be known that what we're putting out now is, is a product of our sourcing and our great taste and a preview of what's to come. So, and this is what was to come. Yes, and now it's here, and they've already started their single barrel program. Which is amazing. Yeah, and cool. they've got a ride that just came out. Cheers to Christmas Eve Eve. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I have tasted the single barrel, but I pick of a uh, OBC kitchen, which was very good. Um, but it was back to back with the uh, bottled and bond and the rye. And this on its own, I mean, it was good that night, but I was comparing. This on its own, I think, is a lot nicer than I think I have expectations for. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, this is uh, gonna be around four years. Um, maybe it does a, not nose like a four-year-old. Between a four and a five, but yeah, exactly. It doesn't nose like a four-year-old bourbon. If you asked me, I'd say eight. I'm getting just like some some bread, baked bread. I'm getting, probably baked rye bread. Yeah, actually. rye bread and. Caramel and a little cinnamon sprinkle. Yeah, it's nice. It uh, smells kind of... And a little buttery. Delicious, like a yeah. food. Delicious. It's very food-like. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go in. Hmm. I wow. think the nose does not give it away as a four-year, but the taste, the palate does. It lets you know. It's still very good, but... I don't know if it lets you know it's, a, it's specifically a four-year. <laughs> okay, it lets you know it's not an eight-year. <laughs> that it's a little younger. Yes, it's a little younger, but not young. Mm -hmm. It's just like, mm, I seem mature, but I'm actually this age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I can, I can, yeah, I can see those hints, but I think they, how to say it, they realize their shortcomings and they play into them in a way. You know, so it's, it's, uh... Yeah, I guess I like what you're saying in that, like, they're very self-aware and they know what their strengths and weaknesses are. Yeah. And they've balanced this to play up the strengths and play down the weaknesses. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense, like... Yeah. Honestly, this is much better than, a, like, any of the other new things, I could say, fairly, that we've tried on this calendar. And yeah. If this is a preview of what's to come, I'm extremely excited. Like, yeah. New Riff is going to do amazing things. I'm getting, like, some... A lot of pepper spice on there, and... Um, what is that? I'm getting the oak, but it's like a lighter type of... Mm -hmm. It's a lighter... Oak. Yeah. It's kind of crisp, though. It's more of like a fresh-cut wood. Yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of crisp. That's the only way that I can kind of des describe it as. Mm -hmm. It's got a... A, a little bite that's not just from the spice. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of all over, just kind of like a like a bite. Just a little nip. Yeah, but it's good. The caramel in there, of course. Mm -hmm. Some vanilla. I mean... And some apple. That got a little apple. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice. It's not like green apple for me. Right. For me, it's like a fall apple, like an apple mm -hmm. pie apple mm -hmm. with that... Like I said, the cinnamon and the dough, like yeah. those bready qualities. Mm -hmm. It's more of like an apple pie. Did you say bread equality? Bread e quality. Oh. A dough like quality. With some apples and a little cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's got, you know, the little bite. Like if you spiked an apple pie, I think it would taste like this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of oh, okay, her. <laughs> that doesn't taste like apple pie. Mm. Yeah, I guess maybe the crispness it's very fall. um it would be like a apple uh, an apple chip. Apple chip. Like That's a, interesting. Like a, like, a sin, like a seasoned apple chip. Yep. Mm -hmm. hmm, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I like that description. Mm -hmm. These are all fitting the realm of things it describes. <laughs> like sitting outside on a 
early fall day. It's not too crisp and chilly yet. Right. Eating some cinnamon apple chips that are yep. crunchy and light. Yep. And that's what this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good description. There you go. Let us take you there. <laughs> <laughs> we try to transport you on the show. I feel like sometimes we're like reading Rainbow, mm -hmm. where we, we just take people into books and places, except for it's into bourbon. Yeah, it's good. And the more you drink it, um, the more you just get acclimated to its That's particular profile and it, and it <laughs> I know, the exact things word that I was you were getting use. ready to say. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it, 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 less of those things that stuck out a little bit on the first sip, they kind of just get washed away. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's sort of more like smoothed over, like everything just blends and it's yeah. nice. But I completely agree. Like what you said, acclimated. That first sip can be a little. Not jarring, I don't think that's the right word, but it's a little wake up call because it's a bit different than maybe what you might be used to. Mm -hmm. I think it's that apple and that crispness. Um, but once you sip it a couple of times, it's actually really warm and inviting. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's it's different without being like different for the sake of being, being weird. Different. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's totally. not like funky and so you're totally. like, ooh. But so we're gonna add some is... water to this because it's 113.9 proof. So we're gonna see what a little bit of water does. And as we add these, let's say, one, two, three, four, five drops, we want to tell you about Patreon.com. And as you can see here, the names scrolling by are all of our patrons. And this is actually a perfect opportunity because the water needs to kind of settle down in here and mingle and marry. They need to get to know each other. <clears throat> exactly. So the names that you see here are people who have uh, joined on a certain level of Patreon and that we appreciate very, very much. There's, of course, other perks to these different levels, and if you're curious with that, you can go to patreon.com slash disturbanite and, and look into those. But we just wanted to say thank you to all of our amazing patrons. Yes. Because they make uh, so many things happen. We've gone live this year. Right. That was because of Patreon. They literally opened the doors for us. Yes. It's nice. Um, and we've had so many more things to talk about on live because of bottles that we've bought because mm -hmm. of Patreon. Or their feedback on what they want to hear us talk about. Yes. Like the community and the conversation has exactly. just been great. And and we can't thank them enough for, for being involved in our show and just like caring and supporting us on the level that they do. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. Um, and you know, you can be involved as little as much as you want to, but we we like to build our little community. It's fun for us. It is. the. The things that we've added now to Patreon, like we're starting to do a Patreon-only podcast. Mm, that's we're true. doing uh, some some live hangouts that are for our patrons only. And uh, if you'd like to get involved, it's uh, as little as one dollar, and you might think a dollar is not anything to us, but it is because when several people do that, it actually uh, it helps out the show a lot, yeah. and it gets us uh, closer uh, all the time to certain goals, new equipment. Um, there is an ultimate goal out there that uh, we talk about with our patrons. And um, so just every little bit helps and you can completely determine what level of involvement you want to be. That's right. Lots of conversations going on there. It's like a, a speakeasy for oh, bourbon. Oh, that's a nice way to for, put it. Uh, for bourbon nuts, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that should probably be long enough for all these names to go by because we have enough. a lot of them now. We, we do have, we have a lot. lot, a lot of those names, and They're we so appreciate kind. every every one of them on every level. So. They really are bringing the Christmas spirit. Let's be real. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can let this sit for a little bit longer. Be back right after this. And we are back. Let's see what we got going on. Let's. Oh, I get a lot more of the oaky on the nose. Yeah. A lot more wood notes coming out. More of like a syrup smell now. <laughs> Smells like it's kind of thicker. With like a, for some a like a caramelized fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could even right say on. maybe like a like a caramelized peach or something, like some kind of fruit mm. that's been flambéed. Well, let's see what it did to the taste. Wow, it went a lot fruitier. A lot more fruity floral. It was a lot more like a firework. It's it a Katy Perry. More, yeah. It tastes like Katy Perry. Fr fruity floral, candy. Cherry chapstick. Sure. <laughs> I kissed a girl. Mm. And and you liked it. Well, not enough. <laughs> yeah, um, it shorter on the finish, uh, a lot more f fruit in there. And the finish, I lost a lot of those flavors that I was really liking about it. I would say I prefer it without water. Me too. Yeah, yeah. But the bottle in general, uh, we didn't say they can be dependent upon where you buy them, of course. Sure. But they're around $50. I think it's worth it to kind of try out and and 
and see. I think it brings something different enough to the table, unique enough, yeah. and the couple different proofs that we've had from their single barrels. Mm -hmm. For it's me, worth, worth trying out, or at a bar. Yeah, for me it's like exciting to see, like I said, they're not a new distillery, but they're a new producing distillery, and it's exciting to see what they're doing, and we've had a lot of samples from other newly producing distilleries that haven't been as exciting as this. Mm -hmm. So I, if you're toying with the idea of getting into some of those newer products, I would I would say this is a good bet for you. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. Cool, well, um, what is tomorrow, our very last day? Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. And Chad's getting a lump of coal <laughs> because we have to drink Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, which we have never had before, so maybe it will turn out to be a delight, a little surprise. Well, we only say for our new viewers are like, why why would he, why would they think that? It's just the Kentucky Tennessee rivalry. Right. It's that, just that uh, that we have. That's all. That's also, all. it's not one of our favorite pours. Not well, sure. because of the rivalry, but it's the taste. The taste profile. It's a taste profile. And of course we're talking about just the regular sure. old number seven. We have not had this one yet. That's right. So we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna look forward to it. Okay, well, um, speaking of if you're new to the channel, if you are, welcome. You can hit that subscribe button if you like. You can give us one of these. You can leave us a comment or question down below. We always love those. Mm -hmm. I also want to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. That is our home on the interwebs for all of our merch glassware we actually uh just have some some new uh new t-shirt that we uh added a new bourbonite shirt uh restock on some glasses things like that because uh, uh christmas season kind of yeah we blew through let a, us lot try. Of, a lot of things so that's awesome um so we are now replenished mm -hmm. uh so again that's whiskeyambitions.com uh, we already talked about Patreon, so I guess we, did we, can, already talk about we Patreon. can skip that one, but sure. we got stuff. Well, we have a really cool Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash night. And it's a little too late for you to get any gifts there, but for next year or for any of your gifting or just personal needs, just go to amazon.com slash shop slash night. You can check out glassware, candles, books, uh, accessories, all kinds of fun things. We even have some games on there, there so go. go check that out. And you can follow us anytime on all the social media channels at It's Bourbon Night. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there we go. So we will see you guys tomorrow for Christmas Eve and our last pour in this advent calendar. Right. So thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, see you guys tomorrow. Drink more bourbon. I think they just made this one This up. is questionable. I don't know about that. And this is what exactly? Some contraption that someone at Lego got paid a bunch of money to build.